Some Americans believe that illegals get food stamps and cash assistance. It is false. I have a copy of the application for welfare and that, that it requires the I think you read that. Read that. Did I read that one? Okay. No, he didn't get to read it. That was mine. Can you finish it? Uh, yeah, I don't think yeah, you're just there was a similar yeah, one, but this is different. Yeah. <laughs> Some Americans believe that illegals get food stamps and cash assistance. It is false. I have a copy of the application for welfare that require, and requires to the applicant to be citizens and or permanent resident. Some Americans think that illegals get Social Security benefits. It's false. Well, I can tell you that if, in fact, perception may not be reality here, Individuals who are not authorized to be in the United States are not entitled to any public benefits other than emergency medical care, and I think that's in the best interest of the community. We don't want people who are, are dying on our footsteps who have contagious diseases and they aren't treated because they don't have legal status. That hurts the community. So other than emergency medical care, no, someone who's not without documentation isn't going to receive any public service. Also, I would add... Food stamps? Food not stamps. even food stamps. Right. Unless not even food stamps. I think what you may often see is that we have children who are U.S. citizens. And those individuals, like any U.S. citizen, may have applied through their guardian, of course, their parent, to receive public benefits. But if they're U.S. citizens, then again, they're going to be entitled to the benefit of any U.S. citizen child. But not the parent. Uh, no, the parent is absolutely not entitled to any public benefit. I would also add that as a result of changes in the 1996 Act, that again, I think I mentioned it before, you can't acquire legal permanent residence unless you can show you won't need public services and you are barred from receiving public services for the first five years of being a resident. Now keep in mind that if someone's a resident for five years, then they're probably eligible to apply for citizenship and a citizen doesn't have those limitations. What about social and security I, benefits? Some people say that the illegal in TV they say illegal are getting social security benefits. Individuals who have worked in the United States but have not had authorization to be employed in the United States, even though they may have contributed to the social security system as a part by law because they were receiving compensation or a paycheck. At the time it is time to collect to retire. If that individual cannot demonstrate to the Social Security Administration that they had authorization to be employed in the United States, even if they worked here for 50 years and contributed to the Social Security system, if they cannot show they had employment authorization, they are not entitled to collect from the Social Security Amen. Administration. Amen. Thank you. And I might Good just night. add one thing that over the years and years and years, many, many, many people have learned how to play the system. Okay. We're talking about- They well, changed the the anybody American or Wait a minute. And what we're talking about is yeah. that they're able to get around it, the, the, the law. Not talking about legally, but right. getting around it. Anybody. Anybody can run the law. Okay, let's, let's stop the debate in the audience and finish the last couple of questions.